Good to go? Yeah. Ah, uh, light, sorry. Got all your batteries, chargers? I think so. I hope so. You'll find out. Oh yeah. When you have three kids, you're always kind of in a bit of a panic to get out the door, and today is no different. <laughs> So today I am flying over to Vancouver, seeing these seaplanes behind me. It's a 35 minute flight, really short, but it's the quickest way if you're not taking a car of getting off of this island. The boarding house is actually behind me over here. It's a beautiful scenic flight in, so I hope you guys enjoy some of the footage. I'm planning on trying to get around and do some supercar stuff because Vancouver's got tons of supercars and I have a bunch of buddies with nice, nice cars. So I'm gonna see, today's a holiday. Uh, it was Easter weekend. Anyhow, for now, I wait to board these noisy ass planes. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Sometimes can be a little bit bumpy. Today was okay. Oh, and by the way, that is a floating gas station behind me out in the water. Where I get off, my airplane is right here behind me, and my hotel is that building right there. So all I gotta do is walk a few steps and I am right at my hotel. That's how convenient it is leaving the island, as long as you take the seaplanes, not the ferry. Probably in my opinion, I have not yet stayed at the Trump. We have a brand new Trump hotel, but this is hands down the nicest hotel in all of Vancouver. Love this hotel. Probably my favorite in all of Vancouver. I'll show you why. Look at that view. Now I could have got a room a little higher, which would have really cleared over this. So I'm just gonna dump my bags off, maybe grab an extra battery for my camera, and we're gonna go downstairs and meet Gabe. Explore Vancouver. Those wheels are rocking. What's up, homie? What's going on, friend? Shaking. Gabe's back in the vlog. Back in the vlog. Here's my bro, fucking Cam. Not even paying attention. Nope. Sounds like an aftermarket exhaust. That thing's lowered, exhaust, everything. Yeah, I could tell right away. 911s don't usually sound like that. He was just on my podcast. Was he? Yeah, he did 55K in one day with Shopify. That's pretty good. Yeah. Canadian or US? Uh, US. That's even better. We only deal in USD. I know, it's, it's the, the, it's the real, online currency. It's the real currency. That's badass. Yeah, man. Um, I'm starting a podcast. Nice. Like legit. We're going and buying all the gear and everything. Nice. Good luck getting that audio shit dialed. Is it tough? I don't know. 
Yeah, it is. When you're doing it like from different places. So I could insert some information about your podcast that I was on in this vlog because I haven't done that yet. Yeah. So I was on, Gabe's got a podcast. It's called Seven Figure Entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. Yeah. And I was on the podcast. And yes. what episode was that? Uh, I think you were third. Yeah, I think you were third. Yeah. Third. Yeah. And is it is it yet on iTunes? Where can people yeah, find it? Yeah, it's all on iTunes. It's all on iTunes. It's on Facebook. We have an Instagram. You can download it from the site. You can listen to it on the site. It was rad. It was fun. You and Tyler, yeah, his business partner, yeah, lives in good. Florida. Yeah. So yeah, it's yeah. like a little triangular thing we had going on. Yeah. Vancouver Island, Vancouver, Florida. Florida is a pretty far triangle, Tim. Yes. Yes, it is. That's a crazy job. Like skyscraper window washing. Yeah, those rotiforms look good on this thing. I can't, they don't rub, eh? Hey? <laughs> wow. That is toit. This thing is slammed. Enzo, what's happening, bro? Somebody. Who's this? It's Jeffrey. Jeffrey? Yeah. What are you, are you driving that Friday? Slammed. Uh, I, gotta, oh. I gotta go for in that. It's yeah. awesome, right? Everybody loves that car. Okay, card it. Yeah. All right, guys. Okay, okay. see you in see a bit, bit Enzo. Jeff. Everybody loves this car, dude. Fake i8. No engine. Just a body model car. Delivery day? New cars. Bentley. New Aston. Yeah. DB11. That thing looks pretty cool in black. Yeah. Old cop car? Old cop car. Look at that. GT. Oh, that Carrera GT in there, yeah. 49th. Thanks, brother. Coffee. Cool looking cars. Unfortunately. Like truck. Oh. Can I see the truck? Yeah. Oh. Yes, I like that one too. Wow. They're really rare. Wow. This is cool. see one of these every day super cool and I love the fact that this one's done in this bright color let's see if I can't get a quick shot of the interior look at this how analog and crazy is this I wonder if this one's under like some sort of restoration these doors holy that is heavy that is like tank quality doors. And that glass, that glass is thick. That is nuts. Listen. <laughs> Listen to this. That is thick glass. I think this is the SV firing up out here. So we'll say goodbye to this. This was a treat. Very cool. And we have the SV fired up. Oh yeah. Well, we can bang out this conference call and discuss all of that stuff. What's up, buddy? All over. Hey, hey, what's up? I'm a huge fan of your videos. Hey, you want to be on my video? Oh, uh, sure. Daily vlog? Yeah. What was your name? David. David Damon. Nice to meet you. Thanks. We've watching you since the 458. Before you got the wrap on it. Hey, awesome, man. You miss that car? I do. But hey, don't fear. Yeah. I am going to make it 
the Huracan's gonna get louder. That's good. It's gonna get a body kit. It's gonna look nuts. Is it gonna get a Liberty Walk? Or? I can't tell you. Oh, okay. It has to be a surprise. Okay. That's Do you good. love this place or what? SR Auto Group? Oh, awesome. Have you seen the Bugatti and the P1? I'm, I'm about to go in oh, and check it out. That's, that's nice. So there's a Bugatti and the P1s P1, here. They, they, they probably just moved it from the Richmond shop is where it yeah. normally sits. They're both white, Ferrari. right? That's all white. Yeah, yeah. So they're all here? Yeah, they're all right here. What a lucky we were having a good day with supercars. Well, hey, it was awesome to Thanks. meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Watch the video later. Oh, well. It'll be online tomorrow. That's awesome. Okay. Thank you. Ciao. Bye. All right, so SR Auto Group. We are going to obviously see some killer cars. I know they have a second shop over here they just started. They, it's probably the, where all the other cars are, hey? Oh, I love that. Proper gearbox, hey? Awesome. All right, let's see if we can sneak in here. The front door is locked, but I'm sure they'll let us in. I'll knock first. Look at this. This place looks awesome. Oh. Raymond, great job on this place, man. Nice. Looks beautiful. Oh, that thing is sick. Look at this. <laughs> Oh, welcome to SR Auto Group's new showroom. So we've got a white Murcielago SV, then we've got the P1, the SLR, uh, Roadster, Bugatti, LaFerrari, and a white NSX at the end. This is, this is their new showroom and it's beautiful in here. This is like heaven, hey? Really expensive heaven. A really expensive heaven. What a difference in whites though, hey? Like I'm a huge fan of pearl white, but when you put it beside, you know, the Bugatti's in this pearl white, but when you put it beside like this stark white McLaren, and I call it stark white, it's not the official name, I don't know what the names of these all paint jobs all are. Refrigerator white. Refri refrigerator white. <laughs> On the Refrigerator, we go, we're going official now. Daily Driven Exotics has now, thanks to Gabe, Q, coined this as Refrigerator White P1. But when you put it beside this color, it makes it look so dull, but still, it's a, it's a Bugatti. Oh yeah, that's, we have um, Snoopy stuffed animal sitting in the Bugatti. What'd you take? I love the P1, but I would take this. This is, this is very motivating me in the hustle mode, because hustle department, because now I feel like I'm on complete welfare being a Huracan owner when I'm standing amongst multi, multi-million dollar cars. What? The one that I fit in. Yeah, I have to get, you and I would be, it's tight. I've sat in these, it's a tight, this would, this is even tighter. Yeah. This is a really tight car. It's a small car, it's smaller than you think it is. Yeah, well look at, you stand beside it and I'll give everybody the perspective. That's how small this, well it's also in race mode so it's slammed right to the ground, but. In the P1, yeah, you can see all the fans and all the mechanics of the wing. That big carbon fiber diffuser. Slammed. Wow. And the Bugatti. Perfect evidence that if you have the money to buy what you want, you don't always have to go to the dealer. Hey, I still like you guys. I like the dealers, but Raymond and Cyrus at SR Auto Group, that's who you need to see. This lineup, man. I'm not a huge fan of the NSX, so I'll just stop right here and shoot from here. <laughs> this car is like way out of place. This is a cool looking car, but I mean, this is like a quarter million dollar car. These are like multi-million dollar cars. Well, what's a, what, what would the SV be going for nowadays? 700? The US? 650, oh, Canadian? Well, not the SLR. probably Yeah.
All right, guys, dive into the uh, La Ferrari. So when people look at this car, they think this is just like a car with like any old seats. Have you looked at these? This is like not a normal seat. This is actually bolted right to the bottom of the carbon fiber tub. There's this handle here that you can pull and this will move the foot pedal. <laughs> but you cannot adjust any of this. Like your back, where you're sitting, like this is where you sit. What is the headroom clearance? I'm six foot of a fairly tall torso. Wow. I, I, have, head, I have headroom. I got headroom. We're buying this. Let's go win the lottery. Two of them. La Ferrari. I mean, this is the dream right here. This is the dream. This is, I would take this over a P1, a Bugatti, any, I would take this. I'm really excited. <laughs> oh man. Gabe, this thing is crazy. And up go those doors. Oh, I'm so excited right now. It's pretty magical. It's magical, bro. I've moved everything. You should be able to fit in here. You got you gotta try this. So here's here's the handle right here. So if you pull this up, we'll pull it up here. See that? And then if I hold it up and push with my foot, that's how you adjust. Oh, I love this car. This thing is seriously insane. Isn't that something else though, like getting in here? <laughs> is that crazy? That's as far as the steering wheel goes in, by the way. Um, yeah. I don't think. How are your feet? Feet are fine. I could make it work. You try close the door. It that the head thing actually bubbles up, so you should have room. Did it hit? Your hair is hitting. <laughs> Does it feel tight? <laughs> is that an experience or what? Right? I don't care if my head touches. Doors like this. Oh man, this thing is. Wow. Now that I've just wasted 50% of my battery and probably, uh, SD card memory on this car right here because it's hands down my personal favorite. I should show you guys the other cars that are in here. For example, this Bugatti Veyron, the P1, the SLR, and the SV. I'll go through them really quick. Bugatti's up next. So let's tackle this baby. Now, one thing to notice about the Bugatti obviously right away is the doors open this way, they do not open this way, which is a bit of a bummer, but it makes up for it with this gorgeous interior. If you've never gotten the opportunity to come and look and stick your head inside uh, Bugatti Veyron, you, you need to go and do this, I'm telling you guys. The smell, because everything in here is leather. The whole dash, the whole console, the steering wheel, the seats behind the seats, um, it is, Gorgeous. Fun fact about this car. Okay. It is not vegan friendly. It is not <laughs> not vegan friendly. Gabe's top tips for today about the Bugatti. Now I gotta dive in. 